This platform is uh, next infantry vehicle for Korean Army, uh, not Red Bag, uh, but it's basically based on Red Bag's uh, technology. And but uh, the power pack and the turret is totally different. The government's uh, project is scheduled to be start in next year, maybe. Develop this vehicle with a, a protection level of a level six uh, on frontal armor and. Uh, my protection is level 4, uh, both A and B. And then the power pack system is a hydric, uh, a diesel hydric, uh, electric hybrid. And then I, you know, the difference with uh, K2N1 is uh, rubber track and then a 40 millimeter CTA cannon, a manned turret. Cap 50 ICWS over 42 tons, uh, up to maybe 45. Other vehicles are not based on the next generation FV. Actually, this is not for Korean Army, it's for the export market. And then the whole is based on uh, K2 and one but protection level is a uh, more higher and uh, it has uh, ERA explosive reactive armor on the front end side. 105 millimeter rifle gun with low recoil system. This KCB is for combat engineer score, optionally manned or manned vehicle, and uh, it can operate a small mine detection uh, robot in, in the vehicle. Then it has a dual weapon, remote control weapon station, and laser explosive ordnance disposal devices. On the center, non line of sight, a long range precision strike system. The hull is all the same, but the, it has two ATGM launchers on the top, and uh, each launcher has six rounds per salvo. So, and then the combat range is about five miles. So, end of uh, maybe 2025, you can see the prototype of this vehicle on the field. Last one is multi-purpose lightweight vehicle. Main role is a scout mission uh, to, to conduct reconnaissance or surveillance and uh, target acquisition. There are two crews, uh, driver, commander, and, and additionally four infantry can be mounted on the backside of vehicle. Just all systems are uh, man, uh, basically manned operated, but uh, a manned uh, is a basic option for all vehicles. Thank you.